What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for data science. In today's video we're going to learn about scatter plots. So plotting individual points instead of functions or bar charts or pie charts. So let us get into the code. So as always the first thing that we're going to do is to import numpy and matplotlib and after that we're going to define the x and the y coordinates because when we do a scatter plot we're dealing with individual data points. We're not dealing with functions, we're not dealing with bar charts, we're dealing with individual points. So for example if you have a data frame with I don't know 10 columns and you take one row that would be one data point. Uh, now if you have 10 columns it would be one data point in 10 dimensions but we're going to deal with just two dimensions. So we're going to have the x value and the y value. And this can be whatever you want. For example, uh, the height and the weight of a person would be one data point. So you would have the height uh, or the weight on the y axis and the height on the x axis. And then you would have uh, the individual data points uh, spread over this graph. And then you could look for correlations, for example. So scatter plots are just plotting individual data points. That's basically it. And to generate them, we're just going to say x equals np.random.rand. And we're going to generate 50 random values for x and 50 random values for random for y. And then we're just going to use them as the coordinates for our points. So the first x coordinate and the first y coordinate would be the first data point. Uh, and to now plot the scatter plot, we're just going to say plt.scatter and x and y. That's basically it. And then we're going to say plt.show. So, as you can see, this is a scatter plot. We have all these individual data points. Uh, of course, what we can also do is we can just uh, define them ourselves. So, if we don't want to or uh, randomly generate them, we can just create lists. I think it actually should work with uh, ordinary Python lists. So for example, let's say um, 10, 20, 30, 40, and maybe again 20, and then y equals, I don't know, 5, 7, 3, 2, 1, or 6. And then we should be able to plot that as well, hopefully. Yeah. So this would be, of course, first of all, not that many data points, but also uh, I chose the values manually. So whatever you need, you can define your values the way you want. But a scatter plot works basically like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the style of our scatter plot a little bit. Because when you look at it, we have some blue dots and that's basically it. And maybe we don't want to have dots. Maybe we want to have a different color. We want to have a different marker. We want to have a different size. And this is all... Uh, or these are all things that we can adjust in the scatter function. So, for example, if I want to change the color, I can just say C equals and then red, for example. I think red should work, but otherwise R should work. Yeah, red works. So now we have red dots. But maybe I'm not interested in dots. Maybe I want to have uh, crosses. So I can say marker equals and then provide a string with an X symbol in there. And it should change the marker to X, as you can see. And there are a bunch of different markers. There are a lot of different markers, actually. So, for example, one would be the triangle here. Triangle facing up would be just a basic power sign. Uh, we could also have triangles facing down. This should be the V character. And actually, you can just Google all of these, but uh, you have very uh, a lot of different options. For example, you can uh, use two, you can use uh, three, four, five for different markers. So two would be that, and for example, five would be something else. And of course, you can just okay five. We don't have five, unfortunately. I think eight should be hexagon or something like that. I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah. As you can see, it is. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going also to change the size. So I'm going to say s equals, and to be honest, I don't know what size was default. So I'm going to go with one and see if it, okay, one is less than what we had. So let's take 100 maybe. I hope that's not too big, but it should work. Yeah, that's fine. So. With the S parameter, we can adjust the size of the scatter plot uh, or of the individual dots uh, or not dots of the individual markers, actually. <clears throat> of course, this works with all kinds of markers. 
And that's how you basically style your scatter plot. Now, why are scatter plots even important? Because uh, when we get into machine learning later on, we're going to train, for example, some linear regression models or uh, classification models. And of course, the linear regression line is a function and uh, the classification is also not a data point, but the individual things that we're classifying or that we're using as a training or testing data are actually data points. And data points need to be uh, plotted with the scatter function because they're individual points, they're not lines, they're not uh, polygons, they're not areas, they're just individual data points, and this is why we need the scatter function. So this is basically uh, plotting scatter plots in Python. So this was the tutorial on scatter plots. I know it was quite a short video, but it's fine because we covered all the material and we're going to use scatter plots in the future and then we're maybe going to learn a little bit more about them. But for now, that's enough. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if you liked it, hit the like button for me. Also, feel free to ask questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. And of course, as always, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.